This video is to help you with first class 4A and 4B, how to use GPS and orienteering and compass work. There is a blog associated with more detail. Around the Earth, these are called lines of longitude, and they run north and south, but that's not what they're there for. Hi, Dr. Nagler. It took me all night, but I finally finished hand-making that globe you wanted. Excellent. Looks good. Especially the lines. What do you think these longitude lines We're going on a five-mile hike with scouts. I've been training them on navigation, so I have my navigators in the back, my bird dogs in the front. Lucas has a GPS. He's, he is finding the points that Logan is telling him to find. We are timing our checkpoints, and then we're rotating through the course as we go point to point. We switch navigators and we switch bird dogs. All right, so, so far today we learned about latitude and longitude, waypoints, routes and tracks, which will be in my blog, and how we learned it. And then right now, we currently have the assistant bird dog with the compass, making sure that he's helping out the navigator that has a GPS, that also has the waypoint that we're trying to achieve. In, oh, no, no, see how that says? LLS Drive, yeah. wouldn't that be yeah. Indian Hills Drive? Yeah. And we just came from there, so we need to head that yeah. way. Yeah. Then that and dead the end. So, right, so we switched roles. I got the TGs trying to work with the boys, and then basically what we're doing is we're cycling off between them. Each point, they will switch a navigator, and they're going to switch a bird dog. So Aiden is now the navigator, and Henry is now the, the bird dog. Corbin has a compass. He is supposed to be training behind the GPS to understand how to use it. The TGs are here to basically make sure that nothing goes wrong and to make sure that Nick and I don't have to do any work. <laughs> Henry, you're trying to get to that point where you get a little far from your navigator. Work together, guys. It's pretty sketchy. It's pretty wet out today, and um, we're going to see if they make the right choice here. There's a checkpoint around here. I want to see which way they go to achieve it, the easy route or the hard route. So right now we got the navigator, Logan, in the front, trying to find the route. And then we have, it looks like Anthony working on the map in the back. Where? Yeah. Hey, Corbin, wait. Where? And they chose, they, yeah, some people choosing the... Uh, they're pretty nimble on their feet. They're trying to make the choice of which way to go. They both ways work. Oh, that's one down. Chop, chop, boys. This is your second time around. You guys should be faster at this now. Guys, guys, go. These are the boys trying to find their shortest course to the next point. They're getting better. They're starting, to, they're starting to norm a little bit, swapping things around. Nothing like a little rain to motivate the boys. Thank you. A little bit of cold rain. Uh, Gets you moving. Hey, Logan. All right, we're on checkpoint 11. We've gone through some hard river crossings. Uh, creek crossings. We just passed up a, uh, a feature. I call it a feature, which is going to be an orange uh, or a, like a purple dot. That way, they knew they were on track. Instead of just seeing all blues, they were able to figure out saying like, "I'm on 11. This is purple. That means that I'm at the right point." Now we're continuing back on the blues with a couple cautions. Cautions are red. Another, those are other areas where they can check to make sure they're on track. So, two deep leadership, of course. Nick is the other T21 counselor. What we're doing is we're working toward getting these kids situated, ready for orienteering. They're starting to form a little bit, or norm. Nor, nor starting to norm a little bit. 
they were storming a little while ago. They're getting better right now. Some of them are taking leadership roles. Yeah. Let's, so, we are at the finish of the course, right? Woo! But we're not at home, right? So you guys have you guys went from storming in the beginning where you guys were not hitting points. It was taking a long time to figure things out. When we get back, we're going to look at our average times per checkpoint, right? And what you're going to see is toward the end, you guys are rocking and rolling. You made it a hike. You made it fun, right? Storming, norm. But here's the next trick. Yes, yeah. Storming, forming, norming, performing. And so what, does anyone know what that kind of means? It means that's how like, you work as a team. That's exactly that's right. you build your team. So, Storming is when you all meet each other. Yeah, forming is your that. team. Storming is when you're working out the things. Storming yeah. was in the beginning. Norming asking me is questions. when you're perfecting it and performing Asking me questions where we're going when I don't have the GPS. Right? Looking toward an adult. You're the team. All right, you guys figured all that out. Yeah. Now what you have to do is there's nothing on the map telling you how to get back there. But... If you guys use your head and you use the tools that you've been learning on this thing, you can figure out how to get home, not only from the technology you have, but also from your sense of direction. Well, we are guys, we can do our own. I don't want to go far east again. I'm going to die. Go. You're not going to die. <laughs> so basically, so should I make it go to nine? Make it go to five. Anthony, at the worst, five. you'll be five. five. No, make it go to two. So basically the second no, it's five. No, what five's on that, that part. We don't need to go to that part. So? Control one. At least we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Are you saying I don't matter? That's not five. Five's on that part. He's recording us! Let's do what you're doing. Yeah. Fine. So we have to go from like that way and then make a right at one point and then we have to go take this one go to two, so to two. Totally yeah we have to go to two okay. and then after that we'll go to one that a and then oh, okay. we can just find or the dead end and then go back then I can yeah. my okay. or you can just go very good guys very good that was perfect nice work so so what you guys kind of realized sometimes the most direct path sucks because, because this track is literally terrible. So we want to go high. I'm pretty sure two is over there. Yep, we want to go high. That's right. It's not that far in it. Yep, finishing up five miles. We got some boys dragging back there. Do you think they'd be hauling as hard as it is raining out here? It's been gorgeous until like this last, I guess, eighth of a mile. But boy, these guys are, uh, they're wiped out. They're wiped out, man. Look at you guys. Come on, boys. Come on, Anthony. We were, in the beginning, we really had a hard time figuring out what to do with that, that GPS and what to do with the, the, the navigation. Now, obviously, we can't go back and look at our numbers because it's the net result. So one thing we learned, if we have rain in the forecast, have a waterproof map, right? I try to remember what the time was. It was like at the beginning, it was like okay, but... 11 something. It was like 11 40 something. And then at the end, it was like one. So here's a really cool thing. If you actually want to see it on the GPS, if I hit page, uh, it took us for five miles, especially when it was five miles. Our moving, our moving time. Hey, 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 listen up, listen up, listen up. Hey, listen up. Hey, listen up. Our moving time was two hours and three minutes. Our stop time was over 35 minutes. Oh. Okay. You know what stop time means? Yeah. Yeah. That's, how, that's, how, that's how long it took us to figure out where we were going. That's not bad, but can you imagine if we had to do that over a longer distance? Okay, so that's what the kind of thing you have to factor in. So our average, our average moving speed was 2.2 .2 miles per hour. Our overall mass average was just about 1.5 miles per hour, over five miles. Okay. So obviously we can all, you know, we can all hike fast, right? Because we know where we're going, the trail's going. It's pretty easy to keep up, right? You just kind of hammer through it. But when you throw the navigation into it, it makes it a lot more complicated, doesn't it? Uh, so what, what was your, what was your favorite part? about doing this, the, both the GPS and the, uh, and the, uh, orienteering. Being finished. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Uh, what's another one? Oh, oh like just, just like um, climbing like up and down and being out there. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like the one. You like a tree crossing? Yeah. Well, I, 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 uh, I pointed out the poison ivy. Poison yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> yeah, he pointed out coke. I like he literally pointed things out. Coke is so well, well, on the highway. That was oh, scary. Oh, okay. uh, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, uh, Ada, you're going to say something? Yeah. I thought you were going to say something. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then, um, did you guys find it easy to learn what I was trying to teach you? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> is there anything that we could have done better? Um, yeah, yeah, communication. Well, communication. It definitely not like... Um, to actually do it, like, well, you explained it well, but, like, it didn't, it didn't just explain it well, but, like, it didn't really actually get it. Mm -hmm. And so, I guess, yeah. like, I got right. It's like my soccer coach says, he said, you need to stay organized, you need to talk. Yeah, that's a good point, right? The only thing we needed to do was, like, stay in a group. Yes. And, like, not spread apart like we did every five sessions. So, yeah. Was that, was that helping for me? But then, but so, like, one thing I noticed is that in the beginning, I had multiple kids going different directions, leading their own their own hike, because that's what they're used to doing. Everyone wants to take a leadership role. And I was specifically trying to tell you that there's only two leaders on this particular trip, the person holding this and the person holding the clipboard. It was probably at about point what, 10? Yeah, about point eight or nine or 10, right around there. You guys figured it out. You guys are grouped up pretty much the PGs were lagging behind because you guys were moving through it a lot faster. Because what you were doing, you were no longer relying on me. You knew you had all the technology and all the knowledge base right here. So you guys did a really good job with this. It just now when you, when you guys go for hikes, you guys gotta think that same way. There's always going to be a leader and a follower, no matter what you guys know where you're going or not. Okay.